So some of uh, the questions that some of the people who knew about the case that uh, I brought up against a business, I wish not to name it, out of respect. Um, they wanted to know the result. the questions, I must say that um, I had all the proof in my hand. The defendant knew what I had. And uh, unlike them, I'm not as cold-hearted person as they are for money. Um, I went to two colleges. I came out debt-free. I worked my butt off to pay for my schooling. My parents did not help me, even though they could, but they wanted me to pay for, uh, for my education. And out of that, I came out debt-free. I work part-time. I uh, join, um, you know, sports, different activities at the school, and uh, I came out on top, um, debt-free. So unlike my the defendant, I wasn't hungry for money. The reason why I brought up the charges is to at least to show them there are some people who will take it all away. Now, in terms of the judge, I have to give full, full respect bottom of my heart. I felt like I had a perfect judge. Even though I lost the case, I blame myself for losing the case, not the judge. She gave me chances after chances after chances after chances. She took breaks. She even mentioned for me to focus on why I was there. I believe this judge, Judge Vanek, I hope I pronounced her name correctly, you deserve good praise from me. And I respect you for that, and I hope uh, in the future you go beyond where you are. Although I wish you could stay at this level of court system for people who doesn't have the money to hire uh, a lawyer to defend themselves, I know you will give them chances after chances after chances. And the result uh, the verdict of the trial and I believe that somewhat I sort of wanted in the middle of the trial because the charges that I uh, I don't know the term for it what I have put for um, to call the defendant I know the severity of it and I didn't want that to be in my heart my conscience that I put them behind bars and they knew what they did even though they were heartless to do what they did but I'm not like them I wanted to show them they were that close that close for being in jail and my the only thing there's two things I'm sorry about with, with the trial not only to waste the judge's time um, at the beginning, I was, I was fully into it, but as I go, you know, I don't want to say that uh, uh, I control the, the way the trial was going. Let's give credit where credit is due. They had good lawyers, but I could have, I knew I could have um, fight for some of the... Uh, the evidence, because I had all the evidence, I could have fought for the evidence to be shown to the judge, but I decided not to, for my own personal reason. 
So I'm going to give credit where credit is due and give that to the defendant's lawyers. So that's done with that. Now, the other thing, not only am I sorry that I wasted the judge's time, I also wasted my, um, uh, my witness. Uh, I wasted my witness's time. And um, you know, we, we, not only she was there, she was a good witness. My defendant, no. If I had called her, they were done with. Believe me. If I, she's more aggressive than I am. If I had called her uh, uh, as my witness, no matter what else happened during the trial, the defendant were done. They were done. And he knew it. He knew it. She's more aggressive, more, you know, at it than I am. But, again, I'm not like them. I'm not like my defendant who are, who are heartless, greedy for money, greedy for different things. When I die, I'm not, I'm not going with all the stuff that I have, okay? I was born naked. Everybody was, were born naked. They're going to leave with nothing. So I'm not like them. So I wasted my witness's time. She was willing. She was more aggressive than I am to do. As a matter of fact, an incident that happened. I'm not going to mention the incident. Out of respect, still. Incident that happened where both of us were called out. She was ready to go to call them to court. I was the one who told her not to do it. I was the one who told her not to do it. Okay? That's how, uh, you know, not only mindful, but uh, a little bit more, uh, less hot, less I could say, than my defendant. So, yeah, I'm a little bit upset at myself for wa wasting my witness's time and the judge's time. And the judge, I think anyone who comes before her, uh, Judge Vanek, I respect you and uh, I agree with you with the verdict, even though I lost, I know that. But I, the severity of the case, I did not want them. You know what would have happened. I'm not going to mention it. So all these is a matter of public record. I didn't want money to keep my mouth shut. And that's what they wanted. Okay? So anyone who wish to view anything, everything that I did are in public record. And also, they tried to use YouTube channel against me. Well, the purpose of my YouTube channel is the fact that all, not just people at the facility, I'm not going to mention the name, okay? That's how much uh, a different person I am with you guys. I'm not going to mention the name. People who knows about it will know who, what I'm talking about. People at the facility saw how I started. I'm going to show a picture of how I started at that facility. In six months, they saw how I changed. They've seen people you guys have worked with for a very long time. They, there were no changes whatsoever with these people. So they came to ask me, what did I do? What have I done to change my body? People at the facility, people around my neighborhood, people at my kids' school, teachers were asking me, what have I done to transform my body? This is why I had the channel. This is why I had the YouTube channel. It is very a shame of you guys to use something to help others against me. Okay? I know you guys were trying, the, I know the severity of the case. You had to do everything in your power to bring me down. It's okay. But the channel is innocent. Innocent. 
innocent innocent okay instead of answering everybody's question individually therefore I create the YouTube channel they could easily see what I've done now in terms of asking the owner permission he knew about it I told him about it I'm gonna look for some of videos where he even see me he saw me re recording my workout he didn't say anything all of a sudden you guys had a problem with it okay we are two different people completely two different people okay people at the facility asked me certain things they wanted me to show them what did I do okay instead of working showing them this is how you do this is what you do I create a video going around the facility telling them okay this is what you can do just look at the instruction of each machine I didn't have to be behind them showing them how to do lat pull down how to do any presses any flies any of this stuff I told them you could start with these machines I'm not a personal trainer at one point I did feel I may actually it, it's been crossing my mind maybe I should do it because I enjoy it I enjoy it and I see the struggle so many people are having to transform their body okay I enjoy doing it I could do it for free because I enjoy it but because of law I'm not certified to do that therefore I create the YouTube channel and show them what I do what I did I even created a, a, a video showing them after a snowstorm I walk my butt to the gym to work out sitting at home and wishing and hoping is not gonna transform your body you have to get your butt certain places and do certain things to do your workout I even record my food log I show them what I eat okay I'm not a professional chef my own kids don't even like my food because my food are so bland but I cook two separate food for me my kids and their father to eat okay so I show people what I've done with myself because they asked me okay I wasn't trying to get pennies out of your facility so we are two different people the severity of this trial was so tremendous I felt like I should held back some of the evidence because the judge gave me time after time after time after time over and over again she even told me to focus she thought I was well I don't know whatever she was thinking but she gave me time after time chances after chances to refocus on the trial of why I was there I was not here for money you guys offer me money not to bring it that far I declined this was not about money for me I didn't want to get pennies from you guys so my mouth to stay shut you guys have caused a lot of other people problem if I had pursued my agenda from the beginning not only will you deal with law enforcement with the uh, the system you will deal with a whole bunch of other people that you have done wrong to this is why I didn't do it okay this is why I did not show the judge all the proof all the evidence that I had now you guys trying to scare me you gonna counter suit me this is when things will be serious I believe people get the uh, attorney to represent them because not only they may not have money to do that um, they may not have the the power the uh, agenda whatever it may be to hire attorney if you guys call me back to court for me to pay for your attorney fees now you will see the other side of me 
I know about double jeopardy. I know I cannot call you guys for the same thing that I had called you guys. You've done so many shit. There's so many other things I could call you for. And you know, that, you know it. You've seen some of my evidence. Okay? I said some of them, but I did not show it. Call me to court. You will see. You guys said it. You said, what about uh, what's a countersuit? I heard it. I'm not dumb. I'm not scared. Bring it on. You will see. Let's see what's going to happen. Two. Two attorneys were willing to represent me. I said no. Because I know if I win, you guys will have to pay their fees. That's why I didn't do it. Once I got home after the trial, I really beat myself. I was like, why I didn't do it? But at the time during the trial, my feeling came over me. I did not want you guys to deal with all the further legal issues with the trial. Not only with legally, with the, with the system, with the government, other things that you guys have done with other people. That's what I was thinking about. When the judge asked me if I rest my case, when I call you guys as my witness, you didn't expect that. I know you didn't expect that. When I call you guys as witness, you were shocked. I know that. I have you on record saying certain things. There's no way someone can take money but don't give the contract. I did not ask the question, but if this comes to trial, it's on record, okay? You could process it, but you cannot, for some reason, you cannot give contract. So you mean from morning till midday or mid-afternoon, if a client, potential client walked in, want to sign up, you could take their money, but you would not give them a contract. Okay? I'm not stupid. Okay? Now, in terms how contract is written, this is another thing. It's on record. You know what I said. I'm not going to mention it. Anyone who wants to look into it could go and look into it. We are two different people. This is why I decided not to show evidence. I said what I said, but I didn't show evidence. Okay? Now, in terms of the judge, thank you. Anyone who comes before you are lucky to have you as the judge. And I hope God bring you more um, prosperity because I believe you use, you were, uh, how will I say that? I believe you use uh, the book as it was written. And um, I thank you for trying to bring me, uh, to, uh, to make me focus into it. And uh, I'm sorry that I wasted your time. You did give me a lot of time to bring my case to you. And I'm sorry for wasting your time. And thank you for, um, as a matter of fact, the verdict that uh, you did say in the middle of the trial, that's what I was feeling.
And that's the end of the video.